let's just start out uh, kind of basic questions. Okay. So, what's your name and uh, what do you do? And uh, what radio station are you doing this for? KZSC. Yeah. All right. So, uh, the most recent album, Desperate Grounds. Yeah. So, most notably, I think in comparison to your previous album, this one has a much more lo-fi quality to it. What led to that decision? Uh, it definitely sounds like our first or second record, I think, which were like really lo-fi. Uh, and then we kind of just wanted to get back. We felt like the previous records had been getting like a, just like a little soft or a little slow. Uh, so we just wanted to kind of make a loud, thrashy record again. Yeah, and this was recorded in a kitchen, I believe? No, that's the first record. That's yeah, the first, yeah, first record. Okay. Four parts per million. Uh, it's just recorded in my kid, my old kitchen on a four track set. This was in a proper studio uh, in Hoboken, New Jersey. Nice. Yeah. And uh, speaking of records, since the previous record came out what, uh, about a year and a half ago now? Yeah, yeah. Uh, are you working on a new album currently? Yeah, we're writing the next record. Uh, hopefully, we'll record soon. Oh, shit! So, where were we? Talking about a uh, new record, right? Yeah, yeah. So the last record was recorded by John N. Yellow. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, he's done like a lot of our favorite records. He's done all the Dinosaur Jr. records since the 90s, since where he's been. He's done Sonic Youth, Hold Steady. Uh, so yeah, we wanted to work with him for a while. I just wrote to him and was like, hey, will you record our record? And he was great. We loved him. Nice. Yeah. So you big fan of Dinosaur Jr.? I'm yeah. Guessing? Yeah, totally. Since high school. What's your favorite record? Probably Where You Been. I mean, I like the earlier ones, Too Green Mind, I like a lot. Uh, but Where You Been came out when I was like 15 or 16, so it was like the perfect time. I was just starting to play guitar, I saw the Lollapalooza, uh, so yeah, that one was really big for me. Nice. So, speaking of Dinosaur Jr., you have been on Sub Pop Yeah. Before, and this was for your albums, uh, Fucking A and... Uh -huh. um, by the like, machine. Yeah, and the first one too, more parts yes. of the million, yeah. Uh, so what was your experience on Sub Pop and why'd you move to uh, Kill Rock Stars and eventually to uh, Saddle Creek? Uh, all, all labels were great, love all of them. Yeah. Uh, Sub Pop was cool because they signed us, we'd only played like a couple of shows. Uh, yeah, they reached out, we, seriously we just played like four shows or so and they heard our demo. Uh, yeah, I mean, it was a, that was like a dream come true. I'd always wanted to be on Sub Pop. Like, most of my records, most of my favorite records growing up were on Sub Pop. Bleach, Mud Honey, you know, like so many records. Uh, and then it was just kind of, it was just like some business reasons we wanted to move to Kill Rock Stars. Um, same reason. It's, it's all just kind of, I mean, it's like personal business too. But we, we love, we have a good relationship with all those labels. So. Yeah. And we're on Saddle Creek now, we love Saddle Creek. Nice. And also, concerning Sub Pop, did, when you sent in the demos, did you ever receive the infamous Dear Loser letter? No, we got an email that said we want to sign you. Really? <laughs> yeah. The thing was, we hadn't even, uh, we didn't even send it to Sub Pop ourselves. Ben Gibbard from Death Dapper Cutie was working on the Postal Service record that was on Sub Pop. And he gave our demo uh, to Sub Pop. So that's how, like, we hadn't even, because it was so early in the band's life, we hadn't even, uh, we hadn't even sent out demos yet. Awesome. Yeah, they were quick. So, speaking of infamous things, your Twitter account. Yes. Tell me what's going on there. That's a blast. Lots of fun. Lots of fun. Uh, Twitter's become, I mean, we're, we stay really busy with like Facebook and Instagram and Twitter, but Twitter's more, uh, you can be funny on Twitter the way you can't really be on Facebook or anything else. Like, people have such a really good sense of humor. Uh, so the Twitter, you know, it started out as something just used to promote shows or something, but eventually it became, it kind of got like its own personality that's like a little bit different from the band. Uh, yeah, I, I just like the format of Twitter a lot. Like I like photos, Instagram school for photos, but Twitter, uh, there's a lot, even though it's, it's limited, you know, with how much you can say. Uh, you can still uh, post photos of yourself eating yeah, yeah, cereal yeah, from you, a toilet bowl. Yep, yeah. 
Totally. <laughs> I can do a lot of things. And also, recently, about your post on Twitter, um, have been concerning the Grammys. I saw you posting about that. Yeah. Um, what are your thoughts on the Grammys in general? It's just like another thing you can make fun of on Twitter. Yeah. I mean, I don't, uh, I wouldn't be, you know, we're playing the show tonight, so we're not watching the Grammys, but I yeah. wouldn't be watching the Grammys anyway. I mean, I don't hate the Grammys, but it doesn't really interest me that much. Yeah. And, uh, what you were posting pictures from what, uh, Peter Gabriel's Sledgehammer video? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Classic. Yeah. And also, um, you posted recently about the game as well that came along with the uh, Desperate Ground. Yeah, yeah. Since we were playing Rock Age, uh, San Jose, uh, which was a video game expo. Mm. Uh, so we have our own video game, uh, swordbymyside.com. You can play a video game that's made to look like an old Nintendo game from the 80s or 90s. Uh, where you can direct Kathy through this like underground cavern to save me and Weston. Yeah, it's, it's cool. Uh, there's just like, another thing that Silent Creek made uh, like to promote the last record. It's it's a really cool game. Yeah, I like it. Yeah, yeah the art style is really well done. So I it's really cool. I forget, God, I forget the guy's name. But it's this guy in Omaha, and he made a game for the Faint mm -hmm. years back for Saddle Creek. Um, yeah, it was really. I, I feel like. He knew like exactly what we wanted. Like we just wanted something that kind of looked old uh, and cool. Yeah, the colors are really good. Yeah, yeah, it's a really cool game. So you have like an interest in old video games, I'm guessing. Yeah, I feel like only old video games. Usually, I'm just playing like Galaga on like old DS. Yeah, or Cubert, or I don't know, Joust, or just old Miss Pac-Man. I have it. Like I have a Wii. There's some new games. I'll play like any version of like Smash Bros or uh, Mario Kart, but besides that, I don't play too many, too many newer games. And uh, with um, arcade games, do you have like a specific high score or like moment playing? Do you remember? I feel like once on Galaga, I got up to level 50, so that was huge for me. But I know there's 100 yeah. levels, so there's so much farther you can go. But yeah, that was big. Level 50 is hard. Yeah, yeah, no, it's good, yeah. I mean, you can't continue. I mean, this is on the DS, so, yeah. 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 Well, anyways, thank you so much. Oh, yeah, yeah. Totally. Yeah. Thanks, uh, I was born.